Because I hurt her feelings. We're not ending it on a sad note. We're ending it on a John is learning his lesson note. And we'll continue to learn his lesson. Thank you all for listening. I love you all. Keep being awesome. Do you forgive me? <laughs> yeah. fam it's a great day it's saturday as it usually is after friday and Which means a work day and that's work day for both of us i actually have a long long run to go on today how long probably two and a half to three hours i don't i'm not doing by miles i'm doing by time on my feet buckets especially has a lot to do today <laughs> sleeper has another wedding today and then she has an event tomorrow it's a crazy life y'all it's a crazy life this is what it looks like to be an adult with a non-normal job. Also, a video puppy. Love you. Bucket says, welcome to Super Saturday. Hey y'all, today is a very big day with running. I am going for like two and a half hours. Just really trying to work on time on feet. This is one of my last big runs, probably before El Marathon, which is two weeks from tomorrow. Hips feeling okay, not fantastic. Won't you come with me? One hour in right now. Feel good. I'm taking it really easy. Like stopping to film, you know, just taking it real easy. Hip feels good. Hip feels good. I'm starting to feel it a little bit tight, a little bit. Just trying to stay loose. Just about keep moving forward. hour 50. I can't believe how good I feel, especially considering the fact that it's so hot out. 88, 89 degrees. All things considered, I think it's actually going pretty well. Right now, water is my biggest problem. It feels good. It feels good. This is the best way to end a run ever. 13.1 miles exactly. And I know that is only half of the marathon, but here's sort of why I consider today a success. Even though at two and a half hours, I really should be running like 15, 16 miles. Why today was a success is because one, it is so hot out and I don't think there's any chance in the world that it is going to be this hot on the day of the marathon. Two weeks, first weekend in October in Chicago, it's probably not gonna be 90 degrees, at least I hope. Two, even if it is, a big problem today for me wasn't necessarily my hip, but it was water. I just didn't have enough water and I really should have had some sort of calories and snacks along the way. Where in the race, especially in the Chicago marathon, that ain't gonna be a problem. Three, I had absolutely, well, I shouldn't say absolutely, but really I had no problems with my hips. The reason that I had to stop a couple times and do some walking was really because of the heat and because I felt my hips start to go and I thought, okay, I'm trying to go for long distance here. Let's be patient and walk a little bit. And then last but not least, and I think this was most important. I was really focusing, instead of focusing on the run, I was focusing on like, ooh, where can I stop? Or what can I shoot with my phone that will make a good video out of this? And I was changing up what I was listening to every, you know, 
probably every 30 minutes or so. And that changing up of what I'm listening to is a tactic that I've used before to get my mind off of how far I'm running. But focusing on making a movie out of it not only took my mind off the running, but it gave me like a new objective. Like when I saw a cool shot up ahead, I was like, oh, I got to get to that shot. And so that was a real mind trick that I think A, helped me to slow down because in order to get a good shot, I would have to slow down or I would have to stop and, you know, catch my breath or take a drink, which was great. But also it gave me a different objective other than I need to finish this race. It was, I need to make the best movie possible. And I knew I was going to document my race at the marathon in a couple weeks, but I think I'm really going to force myself to try and make the coolest marathon movie possible as though that is my goal with this marathon, not necessarily to get any sort of time, not to run the whole thing necessarily, but to make sort of the coolest documentation of my experience. Um, and that's a goal outside of just like getting across the finish line or, you know, what sometimes feels like a selfish accomplishment, you know, but to be able to share my experience and hopefully that inspires someone else. That's something I think that'll keep me going for 26.2 since it did for 13.1. That was my run today. Whew. Feeling good. Sweet bear requested I film her leaving. <laughs> Yes, I love you. Have a good wedding. I will. Hey squad, it's much later now. Let's do a Q&A. I put out word of this Q&A on three different social media channels. Let's start first and foremost with Facebook. Okay, first question comes from Yariba Christina Howard Betty. That is a long name and I love it. You may have mentioned it before, but what inspired you to start having a YouTube and start to share the word? What started this journey? You're right, I have mentioned it before, but I worked at a summer camp growing up, a Christian summer camp, and uh, part of my job was to lead devotions, and I had never really preached or spoken before and so I wrote down everything I wanted to say and it was super short and I think my acting background played into the fact that it came out with rhyming and wordplay and well, the first thing I ever sort of, sort of wrote was who you are a message to all women and who you are a message to all men and I would just share these poems at this camp year in and year out and when I was done with that job what I decided to do was put all the poems that I had written on YouTube and to my surprise not only did those campers want to watch them, but their friends wanted to watch them, and their friends' friends, and you all. And it just has sort of taken off from there over the last four years. Lisa Jones Latea, no question, just want to thank you for your videos. Lisa, thank you for your love and support. I'm gonna turn off this TV because it's changing up everything so much. Next question comes from Benedict Calipan. Dan Ganan. I'm really bad at reading names, sorry. What is your favorite team in the NBA? Come on. Jay Otadoy, is it okay for a Christian to be a fan of Harry Potter? If you ask me in Sweet Bear, uh, yes. If you ask a lot of people who watch this vlog, no. Two things to say about that. One, to explain it, about, I don't know, like a year ago or a while ago, um, I took Sweet Bear to buy the new Harry Potter book and people freaked out on us in the comments. Um, but second and most importantly, I feel that it is a personal decision and a personal conviction. Let's move on to Twitter. All right, this first question on the Twitters, at Call Me Mal asks, what's her middle name, meaning Sweet Bear? Um, I do not have permission to say that on this vlog. I did not know Air's middle name for a long, long time. She did not want me knowing it. Um, and so I do not necessarily have permission to say it to you all right now. Og Mikkel asks, do you guys plan on having kids? Yes, we absolutely do. We are still some time away from really trying, but it is an ongoing conversation in our marriage about when, when will be the right time, but it is definitely a desire of ours. Morgan Oil asks, what is her apple pie recipe? I need it. I think we did a blog post about Sweet Bear's apple pie recipe, like mini apple pies a long time ago, right? I think you can find it if you just Google like Jorgen Fam apple pie recipe. I think, I think, 
think. Snapchat. Have you ever been to Canada? And if you do come, go to Vancouver. That question comes from Aussie123. We have never been to Canada. Neither I or Sweet Bear. However, we have been talking about it more and more lately about going to uh, Vancouver because we have a friend who's filming a show there. And we've also talked about Sweet Bear wants to go somewhere in Canada. I can't remember what it is now. Um, but it's supposed to be like great around Christmas time. I don't know what part of Canada that is. Probably all of Canada. This is really random, but what are your favorite places to eat in Chicago? Favorite places to eat in Chicago? Um, Portillo's is delicious. Although, let's be honest, that's not really one of my favorites. That is just a general favorite in Chicago. Honestly, a lot of like Chicago style food is not food that I really like other than deep dish pizza. Like Italian beef is very Chicago and I don't like Italian beef. Uh, Chicago style hot dogs, I don't like Chicago style hot dogs. I want mustard and ketchup on my hot dog because I'm a human being, but you'll get crucified in Chicago for asking for that, so. And that's all the time I have for questions today because I have to go back to being super chill and relaxing. I'm probably just gonna end the vlog here because Sweet Bread doesn't get home till really late, so we'll see y'all tomorrow. I love you, I love you, keep being awesome.